welcome back to story time it's friday night we hope you have a really great weekend and you had a great week all week long it's bedtime story time and tonight i get to celebrate one of our students from caesar chavez elementary school his name is carlos luis serrano and he wrote this book what i know we have student authors all over our schools and so thank you carlos for re for writing this book so that i could read it because we're celebrating you Hispanic, Latino students, and people all month long. So thanks for joining me. Can't wait to see what you wrote. Hola, comunidad de Greenfield. Soy Super Brenda Galvan. Aquí con ustedes del sitio escolar de Greenfield, leyendo más historias. Y esta noche es muy especial. Es viernes, ya sé. Ojalá que ustedes tomaran un fantástico semana y un una especial fin de semana. Esta noche es importante porque Carlos Luis Serrano es un estudiante en la elemental de César Chávez. Y él escribió este libro. Él escribió este libro. Igual como ustedes, todos pueden escribir libros. So, él es el autor y él tiene otro ilustrador. So, qué bonito. So, thank you, Carlos, for, reading the, for writing this. We can't wait to read it. Here we go. This story is dedicated to my mom because she's a great mom and supports me in any decision that I make. Oh, she sounds like a cool mom. Chad, Victoria, and Lisa are all getting ready for the baseball game out in the city. The game should be exciting because the Jerrys are going against the Eagles. The Great Catch is the name of the story. As Mr. Brown is giving them the map, he grunted, Do not lose this map. They need to pay a lot of attention to my instructions. So they don't and don't get lost. Chad mumbled at Lisa, You can't even read a map. You're too small, as they were waiting for the train to come. Quickly trying to enter the train, they left the map behind without noticing. When they finally got to the train, there was a crowd of people inside. Chad is suddenly disturbing an old lady, and her hair was all over him, and he was very uncomfortable. Victoria and Lisa then sat down, but another old lady was sleeping on her shoulder. They were waiting for the train to stop at Jerry's town too. And when it stopped, they all got off and were relieved they were not sitting next to ladies anymore. Lisa then realized something. Oh, the map, oh no, we left it on the train. Chad then shouted, what do you wanna do, Lisa? Well, remember that squared thing Mr. Brown gave us, said Lisa. Yes, they said. Well, when they departed away from the subway, they complained about the map. Oh, man. While Chad and Victoria argued, Lisa was looking around for a clue to try to help them get to the stadium. Lisa saw a lady and thought about approaching her and asking for directions. Lisa tried to tell her siblings, but they were too busy arguing. So she went by herself to ask. Trying to get the lady's attention, they asked her, where's the baseball stadium? The, old, the lady gave Lisa complicated directions. She finally remembered and posed like a statue, telling her to find it and that they would lead them straight to the stadium. Lisa yelled at Chad and Victoria, follow me, and she ran to the direction of the stadium. So they walked through people until they got to their destination, but they got very tired and they had to rest a bit and they saw a water fountain and a guy feeding food to the pigeons as they passed through. And so Lisa wanted something to eat, and so she saw a hot dog man. And she told Chad and Victoria, so they went to get hot dogs. Then Lisa thought they would be late for the game, and so she started to get worried. They ran through the streets. Chad and Victoria were very tired. And so they went running, and Lisa saw a man fall down on his bike. So they tried to help. Lisa then stopped. She looked around to find the baseball game. Chad and Victoria caught up to her, but they were out of breath, breathless. They rested while Lisa was still looking for it. She thought that everything the old lady told her was a lie, was it? But she then saw a statue and remembered the lady. She wondered if the baseball game was right there. And there it was, the stadium. Screaming from excitement, they finally made it to the Jerry's, the play against the Eagles. 
There were a lot of people there, so they ran as quickly as they could to get their tickets before they sold out. Yay, they made it. This fabulous child, Sir Boyd, say I'm a Carlos Luis Serrano. He's nine years old. He goes to Cedar Travis Elementary School. His favorite part is soccer, his favorite sport, because he always loves to play it. And he wrote this book because he wanted you to have something interesting to write, to read. He wrote it, you read it. So thank you so much for joining me. The Great Catch was written by Carlos Luis Serrano. I'm Supriya Gavan with the Greenfield School District, sending a great big bear hug from our family to yours.